Hello, it's nice to be back with you again. It is me, Peter Cox, and what can I call him? Management guru, author, genius, probably Mark Thomas, author of 99%. Hello, Mark. Nice to see you. How are you? Yeah, oh, very well, especially after that introduction. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, we've had some nice questions. If you want to ask Mark a question, just leave it in the comment section. Here's one. Very interesting one from Katie Allen. Uh, Katie Allen says, in the mid 1980s, unemployment was very high. I had a mortgage at 23, even on a very modest salary. Our children are clearly not going to be better off at 50 than we were at 50. Mortgage at 25, no chance. Will we wait till we croak to try and help them out? I think not. What do you think, Mark? Well, she's raised some very good points. It's mm. absolutely true that we had very, very high levels of unemployment uh, in the 1980s. And it's also true, as she points out, that uh, the deal overall for young people was much, much better then than it is now. We've analysed that and there's something in the book and there's also yeah, an article on right. the website right. yeah. uh, which, which tackles that. So she's absolutely right. And I agree with her final point. You know, we shouldn't wait until we croak to try and help that generation. We should mm. get on and help them right now. So if anybody agrees with Katie Ellen, they should sign up and join the 99% organisation and start oh, helping good. today. Very good. Which is what? 99percent.org, isn't it? Yes, it is. 99-P-E-R-C-E-N-T.org. Why has it got a hyphen? Uh, because I couldn't get a percentage sign as a domain <laughs> name. <laughs> right. Now, today, I want to talk to you about meritocracy. This idea, or I want you to talk to us about meritocracy. It's the idea that you get your nose down, you work hard, you get what you deserve. What's wrong with that? Well, in theory, nothing's wrong with it. What's wrong is that what we live in doesn't bear any relationship to that kind of utopian description of meritocracy. So the first point is that in a meritocracy, you would be rewarding the people who contribute most to society. So if somebody's yeah. extremely well paid, like these gentlemen here who presumably just had a big bonus in the city. Well, it looks like it, doesn't it? Have, <laughs> it, does look, it does look rather like it. Um, uh, and... Um, that would be in a, in this utopian world. That's yeah. because they've added so much value to society. Now, when I look at the real world, what I see isn't really that utopian picture. In the UK last year, the highest paid CEO was Denise Coates, whose uh, whose salary was three hundred and twenty three million pounds, which is the what? highest. I think. What? Uh, yeah. Three, so so uh, basic, almost a third of a billion pounds was her. Uh, yes, uh, there we are. Uh, three hundred. 23 million oh, plus no. i think she had she had another t because it's obviously hard to get by on just 323 million <laughs> so she she also had another 46 million in dividends she must now, work very very hard she must have more than 24 well, hours on each day that's all i can say well, she must be working very hard. And also, you know, she must be doing a tremendous amount of good for society. Oh, now, that right. I find hard to believe because, in fact, the way the, the company that she runs is a, an online gambling company. What? So really? Actually, actually uh, yes, indeed. Bet 365. Right. Um, and as it says, she's hit the jackpot. Um, now, betting companies, we know there's a problem of addic g compulsive gambling, addic addictive yeah. gambling. Of course, online betting is it, it can reach those people with the, with I'm that sure. addiction wherever they are. It can reach them twenty four hours a day, and in some cases, it is literally that. Mm. Um, so, the idea that she's doing any good for society at all mm. is uh, not obvious. But mm. certainly, you know, to believe in the meritoc meritocratic argument, you would have to believe that she is doing more good than thirteen thousand nurses. What? Thirteen thousand nurses. All right. Okay. She, she is doing more good. <laughs> if you're if you're to believe this, if you want to be Peter, if you want to be a market fundamentalist, you're going to have to step up here. You have to be. I able guess to I can Im like improve, improve my you game, aren't I? I can see that. You yeah, take to, that smirk off your face, your, Peter. Yeah. Exactly. You're going to have to raise your game. You have to be able to believe that she, in various ways, is doing more good for society than thirteen thousand nurses. Hmm. And nurses, in fact, don't do much good for society because they're not paid very well. If you, if you believe in merit, meritocracy, 
then you believe that if people are doing good, they get paid well. And conversely, if they're not being well paid, and in particular, you know, they haven't had a pay rise for 13 years or whatever it is. Well, that's because, sad to say, they just have really not been adding value for years, these, these nurses. Adding value, they, that's what it's should, about. Yeah. They, that's what it's about. So they should be getting out and exploiting people's addictions, okay. and then they could they could also be uh, celebrated by our meritocratic system. Well, so not that's great. The not thing. great. Okay. So it, I, not, I, it, so really what, I great. mean, this is this is where we were talking about this briefly yesterday. This is where you know economics meets politics, isn't it? Because you're moving into yes. the ground here where you could be accused of being a you know um, uh, an extreme left winger. Well, um, actually, I don't think so. I think um, I, I think market fundamentalism is very extreme right wing. So mm -hmm. even people like Philip Hammond, who was, after all, not very long ago, the Chancellor of the Exchequer in the sure. Conservative Party government yeah. of yeah. Um, of Great Britain. So he was. Uh, I don't think anyone's ever accused him of being a, an extreme left winger, uh, and and I. I also don't think of him as being an extreme left winger, but he has described the current government as having been taken over by the extreme right wing. Okay. And uh, I have to say, I agree with him. I think he's right. And quite a few other uh, former Tories largely have said the same thing. So these are not people who've got a long heritage on the left. These are people mm -hmm. who are send center right in their yeah. in their belief yeah and, and that's what yeah. they believe and they've been yeah. they've been close enough to it to see it yeah. uh, you know from the outside uh, other people don't see it so close but those people have been right on the inside they know exactly what they're talking about and yeah. i think they're right yeah. So yeah. that anyway, we, that's the first thing that's wrong with with this idea of meritocracy. That actually we don't have a measure of merit that really determines how well uh, people are contributing to society. But there's also a second problem with it because the way people talk, you know, if you're poor, well, that's because you haven't got enough merit. You know, you just need to take mm. responsibility for yourself. Now, let's suppose that we we have, we adopted a similar attitude to height. And we said, OK, we're going to reward people based on how tall they are. And, you know, um, people who are above average, I'm actually above average height myself, will be paid more, um, quite rightly, because we bring more merit to society. But people who are below average height, you know, they, they don't have enough merit, and so they'll be paid less. And unfortunately for the people at the bottom, they're not going to be paid enough to live on. They, they will have to live in poverty. Well, you know, intellectually, that's nonsense, isn't it? it you're going to be condemning the bottom 30% of your population to living in poverty because they're they're shorter well we can see it's nonsense but even if we had a measure of merit it would still be nonsense there's always going to be a bottom 30 percent so yeah. intellectually as well as morally it's nonsense to talk about that kind of extreme di yeah. uh, distribution of wealth and income and to try to justify it uh, on the basis of meritocracy so there are two fundamental flaws with our current way of thinking about meritocracy okay that's really interesting mark um i want to talk more to you about this but i can't because we only want to be with you for about 10 minutes every day but you can you can talk to, to mark more you can leave him a question please uh in the comments section here and do spread the word amongst your 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 friends and your relatives and anybody else in your social bubble tell them about this please and grab the book 99.redember.tv that'll straight take you straight through to the buy link uh where you can get the paperback or the digital edition on kindle if that's what you want and in the meantime we will see you tomorrow.